Hi, and thank you for joining me. Um, I'm Vladimir, and I am the founder of the Blue Lotus Mindfulness and Meditation Center. And the purpose of this video is to help some of our beginners understand what mindfulness is um, and to address and to uh, instruct you on, on some basic breathing techniques. Um, and this is fine for advanced um, practitioners as well. Oftentimes, sometimes we find our own little rut, maybe, in some sense of the word, um, you know, that we continuously do, or routine may be a better choice, right, that we may um, stick with and, and sometimes forget some of the other breathing techniques or aspects of mindfulness that are out there that we can incorporate. So this may also serve as a, as a little refresher. One thing I'd like to say though is uh, one of the first questions I get is, am I doing this right? Am I practicing mindfulness correctly? Am I breathing correctly? And the answer to that is yes, you are. There is no wrong way. There are different techniques and methods that um, you know, practitioners use along the way that they uh, feel comfortable with and they don't get into their routines, you know, which is perfectly fine. Everybody finds what's going to work well for them and um, continue using that. But again, you are doing it correctly. Okay, there is, you know, really no wrong way. Um, but one of the first things that um, we should consider is, is how we sit. Right, our posture. Um, most often, uh, we'll hear the lotus or the half lotus position. Um, I mean, either one of those are fine. You know, it's just sitting with your legs crossed, you know, uh, over your thighs. If you can get there, right? Half lotus is just one leg over, uh, over one of those thighs. And that's whatever's comfortable for you. Some people will do this in a chair, uh, maybe even laying down. You know, after a, a small yoga practice or some type of an activity. But uh, the only caution I would um, just to make you aware of is if you're going to lay down, you don't want to fall asleep, right? You don't want to fall asleep. Otherwise, it's whatever works for you, right? And you don't need to sit under a tree, right? You don't have to, you know, go far away into the woods, uh, away from everyone. You don't need to do that. You know, if you can sit in your home, your apartment, you can sit in your car, wherever is comfortable uh, for you. Try not to have too many distractions, but, you know, they do occur, right? They do occur. You will have some distractions, um, you know, at some point in time while you meditate and just acknowledge them. But what is mindfulness? So let's start off with that. What is mindfulness? Um, common. Uh, Phraseology or definition is the non-judgmental awareness, right, of our feelings, of um, you know what we experience inside and externally, what's going on around us. And I'd like to just take it a little bit further. It's also a relationship, right? We do have those feelings. We do acknowledge them non-judgmentally, right? They're neither good nor bad. Sometimes um, it's often what we do with those feelings. If we feel joy, we feel joy. Hey, I'm feeling joy. Right? and experience it, relish it. I'm feeling anger, experience it, acknowledge it. It's there, it will come and go. One of the foundations uh, or the tenets of, of Buddhism is that everything is temporary. So our feelings of joy, our feelings of happiness, our feelings of dread, our feelings of sadness, all temporary, right? So whatever those feelings are that you are feeling at that moment, acknowledge them non-judgmentally. But what about breathing, right? Am I breathing right? Again, you are, right? But what I'd like to demonstrate to you or in, in um, help you out with, guide you along you know, your path, your journey, or some of the breathing techniques. Most often you'll, you'll find counting one to 10. Right? I do those, right? I do those one to 10, but there's also different, different styles of doing that one to 10, right? So I will demonstrate a few techniques that I like to do when it comes time to breathing and I do alternate. 
right? I do alternate my breathing styles uh, depending on how I feel for that day. And again, no way is right or wrong. Um, counting 10. A lot of people do it, right? You can count to 10, right? One, two, three, all the way up to 10 and so forth. But what about when we breathe? So there's three different ways, right? We can count to 10 uh, in the normal rep repetitive uh, pattern. We can do it on the inhale. One, two, three, four, and so forth, right? You may not want to count out loud. I have to demonstrate that so you can understand what I'm doing, right? So you can have some type of an idea of how to um, do those counts. So you can do it on the inhale. Okay, and I was doing mine a little bit on the fast side, but you can slow them down to whatever feels comfortable for you. Another way to count to 10 is on the pause. You can count that number on the pause. Inhale, pause, one. Inhale, pause, and two. Inhale, pause, three, and exhale, and so forth. And as you may have already figured out, another way is on the exhale. Right, so we can count on our exhale as well. So inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, two. Inhale, three. That's it for that way. Those are counting once to 10. Now a little more in-depth um, method to count to 10. Um, you do have to be mindful a little bit, and I will certainly demonstrate this as well. Um, to, uh, you know, you want to be mindful as you count so you don't lose count. And if you ever lose count in any one of these positions or any one of these breathing techniques, it's fine. It's all good. It's okay. You can just start over. Just start over from 1 to 10. That's it. No big deal. All right? Uh, a, a, a fourth different way to count to 10 in your breathing is a little bit different. And again, it's going to be a little more mindful effort. So you may want to try it after you've experienced um, and, and tried some of these other breathing techniques. And again, it's a counting to 1 to 10. But what you're doing is, as you count to 10, again, you can pick any one of those, you know, whether it's inhale, pause, or exhale as your count, right? But on the 10th count, that would be your one set. So it's a, it'll be a 10 count movement or a 10 count breathing exercise. So I'll demonstrate. One. Two, three, all the way up to nine, and I'll start at nine for this part. Nine, and then one, one. So that's a full 10 count exercise, and your 10th number would be the whole number that you're counting on. So that would be one. And then so your next breath would be two, one as well. Two. Three. And then I'll jump to nine. Nine. And then two. And then one. 
and so forth until when you get to nine, that ninth breath again, that would be number three. So this takes a little bit of mental um, tunement, mindfulness counting. And again, um, you may want to try that after you um, feel a little bit more comfortable with some of these breathing techniques. Some other ways to do your breathing is to not count, right? You don't have to count. It is enough to say to yourself, I am breathing in. I am breathing out. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. That's perfectly fine as well. And you may even want to address the lengths of your breath, whether they're short or long. I am doing a short inhale. I am having a short exhale. I am doing a short inhale. I am doing a short exhale. And as you may have figured out, you can do a long one too, right? I am doing a long breath in. I'm doing a long breath out. And so forth. You can do those. And these are just some of the basic, uh, the foundations of mindfulness breathing. Remember, the breath is in all that we do, right? It is our very being. It is what we can always return to whenever we feel anxiety or stress, a general sense of unease, or even joy and happiness. We can return to the breath, and that can be our, our refuge. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this introductory video on, on mindfulness. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them. Uh, our website is www.blue lotus um, mindfulness. Sorry, blue lotus meditation us. So that's www.bluelotusmeditation.us, and you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram at Blue Lotus Center. And feel free to like this video and, and subscribe to our channels if you feel this is, has been helpful. Anyway, I wish you all a day of peace and easement. And thank you for joining me.